trying to find a movie to watch. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. It's a dead movie week. It's September. I don't know. I don't know. What should I watch? Hmm. I wish Freddy Krueger would come and chop off your head and it would roll in the street and a truck would squish it and the blood would splatter everywhere and everyone would watch it. What the hell was that? What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again, giving you guys another review. Today's review is for a new stalker thriller out in theaters, actually limited theaters, but it's on streaming services as well. And that movie is The Fanatic, directed by Fred Durst and starring John Travolta as a psycho mentally challenged fan who wants an autograph. If you guys are new here, feel free to click that subscribe button and that bell notification icon for more reviews, reactions, rankings, and more movie content. The Fanatic is a film I wanted to see personally because I've been hearing some people talk about this movie and from the reviews that I've heard from people, they're saying that this is the next so bad it's hilarious movie. Like the next hilariosity type of film, like the room level of it's so bad, it's so enjoyable to watch. And also because of John Travolta starring in this role and just the concept of this film, and John Travolta plays this guy named Moose, who is a huge fan of this actor named Hunter Dungbar, and he just goes in crazy stalker level insaneness that I just had to see this movie. And I don't even know where to start, guys. This movie is amazingly bad. This is a film that 10 years from now, people are going to go back on this movie and think, that movie is so entertainingly awful, but it's just so entertaining to watch. I'm just warning you guys right now, if you're curious to watch The Fanatic, it is a limited release in theaters, so if it's playing near you, go check it out. And it's also on Amazon Prime if you want to rent it, don't want to go to theater. But this review is going to have some spoilers in it because I cannot go without talking about this movie and the spoilers and the things that happen because, oh my god, they made me piss myself laughing. There's no positives for this movie, if I'm being completely honest, because it's that awful of a film. There was no good thing about it. Not a great directed film, acted film, production-wise, shot. The only positive I can say is that it wasn't boring. It was a very entertaining movie. It was very fast-paced, and there was not one boring scene, because... I was just getting so entertained laughing so much of how bad this movie was. I feel so bad for John Travolta. I think he can be a great actor all around. I mean, freaking Pulp Fiction, but I'm really disappointed with John Travolta ever since last year with my worst film, Gotti. Gotti was my worst film last year and John Travolta was in it. On a positive note, I really do want to see John Travolta get a redemption path just like with Pulp Fiction. Hey, Tarantino, maybe cast him in your last film. But John Travolta, I want to see him do better than this, but he was entertaining to watch in the film. I just want to talk about some of my favorite scenes that were so horrible, but entertaining to watch. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. The movie does have narration in it from Moose's only friend, Leia, and it's really confusing. Like, what does she really do in this movie? Besides be that constant support for Moose. Like, the movie opens with her narration and has certain things that Moose does that she's explaining to the audience that I just don't like that, if I'm being completely honest. Also, there's a lot of animation drawings that tell Moose's story that just felt confusingly added in. Like, it didn't really have any reason to be there just to add some nice drawings. The first line of dialogue that John Travolta says in this movie is this. Hey, Aaron. Chocolate mousse. I can't talk too long. I gotta poo. What the hell is that? Like, I'm... What? I was just really laughing hard. Like, why would you open a movie like that? Like, hey, I can't talk too long. I gotta poo. This is the introduction to this character, and now 
This is the tone this character is going to deliver. Some poop jokes related. It's just so random and out of nowhere. And then the whole story continues on. Hunter Dunbar is this actor that Moose is in love with. He is so obsessed with this guy. He watches all of his movies and he is trying his hardest to get his autograph signed. He wants a freaking autograph so bad that he goes out of his way to find his freaking address using this app. The app thing is really cartoonish. Like you can basically search up any celebrities houses. You can find exactly where they live. That's really creepy. Like in all honesty, why would an app like that exist? Hunter Dunbar is played by Devon Sawa of Final Destination fame and his character is really unlikable to Moose. He's so mean to him. You could have been more reserved to the guy, not threatening to hit him or anything or kill him, but you can kind of understand why he's getting really angry at him because he's constantly bothering him, but those scenes were kind of eh to watch. The best scenes by far are John Travolta's character just crying out of nowhere and he has these freaking meltdowns because he can't get his own way. There's this funny scene of him in a bathroom talking to himself because Hunter Dunbar turned him down once again and he's just crying at the camera. It's so funny to watch. Like, that is constant entertainment. In the end, The Fanatic gave me everything I wanted. I had a great chuckle with this movie. This movie's awful in every single way. There's no good thing, good aspect at all about this film. It's poorly directed, poorly acted, just about anything you'd expect from a movie starring John Travolta as a mentally challenged movie lover who has a fan wants to get his autograph. On my rating scale, The Fanatic gets a zero out of five stars. My first zero out of five stars, and it absolutely deserves it. Okay, guys, that was my thoughts on The Fanatic. Have you guys seen The Fanatic yet, and what were your guys' thoughts on it? Did you love it, think it was okay, or did you absolutely hate it? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. Thank you guys as always for watching this review. All my social media links are in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.